we're in the fridge, so it's TikTok time. That's right, we are doing another TikTok video, but we're switching it up. We're making one recipe. It is the viral grinder sandwich, over nine million views. We're gonna make it, we're gonna rate it, and we're gonna make our version even better. Oh, no, this is fire. All you gotta do is watch, let's go. Hey, before we jump into this grinder sandwich, my name is Farnham and you are now watching more seasoning and I'm wearing another pair of my mother <laughs> booty shorts, baby, cause we about to grind this grinder out. You get it? No? All right, anyway, let's watch it. Come on. Jeez, this thing looks amazing already. That bread looks crazy. Okay, going in with the salami, going in with the turkey. The pepperoni, some Havarti and provolone, shit, looks good. All right, now this is what everybody goes crazy over, is this little salad thing, okay? The submarine dressing, mix it up. Okay, some tomatoes, they didn't look salted though. Okay, and she finishes it off with the butter and the oregano. I mean, I'll be honest, this looks like a great sandwich. We're gonna try it, we're gonna rate it. I got a few ideas how we could do it a little bit better. Let's rock. First thing we're doing is cutting some fresh Cuban bread. Watch your fingers. Slice and dice. So I gotta know, for those of you at home, are you cutting the side with the cornmeal on it or are you cutting the plain Jane side? I think I'm gonna go plain Jane. Let me know in the comments. Here we go, a plain Jane slice. There we go, and perfect. Oh, that bread is so soft. This is like a pillow. If you don't get your salami from Genoa, is it even salami? One slice, two, three slice, four slice, and hit it with the fifth. Next, we got that turkey. Bird is the word. Are you team Johnny Depp or team Amber Heard? Let me know in the comments. Gobble, gobble, gobble. King of cured meats, pepperoni. Pepperoni, he, he. Listen, don't get caught home alone with just provolone when you could get this beautiful Chipotle Gouda. I didn't go Havarti, I went with my favorite. Let's go. Chipotle mm, Gouda. We gotta bake this. They don't say how long. I'm gonna assume 350 until the cheese is melted. Let's go. Get proper like Betty Crocker. Here we go. You ever wonder why they call it a tomato knife? That's why. It's tomato time. All right, two things. One, she does not salt them from what we see, so we can't salt them. And two, if a tomato is a fruit, does that make ketchup a smoothie? All right, so as you can see, we have a head of iceberg lettuce attached to a knife. Why? There's no reason why. But I am gonna show you, because nobody on TikTok knows how to do it, how to make the perfect lettuce shred for a sandwich or a hoagie or a grinder, just like this. As you can see, we have a whole head here. And what we're gonna do is we're literally going to cut it in half. All right, now you're gonna take your knife and you're going to slice down literally as thin as you can. Now, I know this might look like a very average pile of lettuce, but let us show you why this is so different, ready? So all we do is we just toss it up and then look at that. You literally have beautiful, stackable, unctuous lettuce for your sandwich. Stop cutting it in big squares. I don't want a Texas piece of lettuce. I want shredded lettuce, just like this. It needs to look like itty bitty Californias. Act like you want entry and lettuce in. Does this look red to you? It doesn't to me. We're gonna cut it up anyway, let's go. Next, we're just gonna slice it in hopes that we don't have to cry. And once we get a few slices just like that, we're gonna break them up. Into the bowl! Peppercini time. Six month of the year, May. Oh, June, get it, May? No, anyway, here we go. All right, so I couldn't find garlic aioli, but I got some minced garlic right there. Same shit. Submarine dressing time, this is amazing. All right, now we're gonna take our Sylvester Stallone. Get it, that's the Italian. In the bowl, let's go. Safety first, no glove, no love. Sheesh, that looks amazing. Ah! Ooh, all right, it is tomato time. It only looked like pepper to me, so that is what we're doing, a little bit of pepper. All aboard, Tiny Southwest. Get it, Tiny Southwest. Microplane, come on. Some nice, fresh Parmesan, also known as Parmesan. All right, now we're just gonna go in by hand. And go ahead and do our grinder salad on there. See, look how beautiful that looks. All right, here we go. We're gonna close it on up, just like that. All right, now she just hits it with a nice little coat of butter on the top. Dried oregano. All right, let's go for the cut test. And now to split. Cue the scary music. It's time for the taste test. Here we go, the viral TikTok grinder sub with over 9 million views. Let's get it. All right, here we go. We're gonna rate this on a star scale, one through five. Five stars means it's incredible. There's nothing I would change. Four stars, that means it's really good, but there are things that I think I could do to make it better. Three stars means it's pretty good, but there's a lot that could be improved on. Two stars means do not eat it, I don't like it, and one star, 
gross. Literally avoided all costs. So in terms of the nine million view grinder sandwich from TikTok, me personally, with the food that I eat and I create, I believe that this is a three and a half star sandwich. I know it gets a lot of hype online, but there is definitely great room for improvement. So that is exactly what we're gonna do right now. Let's go. All right, so there's a few things I think we can do to make ours better. It needs a little more snap, less toast in here, more crunch inside, and we need some more contrast and flavors and some depth. We're gonna do all that, and we're first gonna start by making some bacon. Slap, slap, slap. Just like that. Bacon on a paper towel. All right, now we're gonna slice our bread on the top and right through the middle. Now we're gonna hit this with a little bit of Duke's mayo on each side. Swip, 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 swip. Now we're going in with our salami. Now we're gonna hit it with that pepperoni. Slap some chipotle gouda on. Hit it with the provolone. Okay, now we are not going to bake this because we wanna make sure everything else is ready to go when we put this together. We don't wanna throw it in the oven and then it dry the bread out any more than it needs to be. Like I said, we're going for a light toast, so let's hit our salad. All right, let's make the dressing for the salad, we're gonna start quarter cup of mayo. Red wine vinegar. Next, we got anchovy paste. Wait, I know you're like, ew, I don't wanna eat the small little salty, hairy fish. It's not, it doesn't taste like that. It's gonna add some great depth to it. Let's go with a couple tablespoons of that sub sauce. Next, we're gonna microplane a small clove of garlic. Now we mix. All right, we're gonna fine shave this again. Lettuce in the dressing. Red onion time, nice thin slices. Break them up, add the red onion. Bro, what the are you doing? Oh, so basically there's a lot of liquid in here and we don't want the bread to get super soggy. So I'm taking my pepperoncinis and I'm drying them off. I'm just squeezing them in a paper towel and then I'm gonna add them to my salad. That way we don't get a little pool or puddle of juice. All right, drop them. You know what I'm saying? Drop your fingers into the bowl and mix. All right, give it a taste. If it tastes really creamy and there's not enough acid or bite, we're gonna add a little more red wine vinegar like that and then we mix. All right, so this is very crucial. We don't want Captain Crunch bread, AKA the roof of our mouth falling off, right? So all we want with this is a very light toast, like to the point where the cheese is barely melting. So I'm gonna put it in 350 and I'm gonna watch. It might take a minute, maybe two. We're just gonna wait until that cheese just barely starts to melt. Let's go. All right, we just spent two minutes at 350. We're gonna pull it out. It does not need to be dripping with cheese. Check that bread. Oh, still nice and plush, soft with a light toast. That's exactly what we want. All right, now we're gonna slice our tomato up into a few slices and we're going to salt both sides. You have to do that in order to get the tomato flavor to come out in your sub. You must salt them and let them sit for a couple minutes. All right, so we got our cherry pepper relish that I'm gonna put on here. And basically this is a little heat, a little zing, some brightness to really combat all the salts in those cured meats and the cheese. So we're gonna put this on the left side. Why does all your meat have to be hot? Why? It doesn't. That's why we're going in with some cold turkey to combat that salami and pepperoni. Come on. Thomas with a foot fetish. Get it? Tomatoes? Tomato? Anyway, come on. Let's get it shaking with the bacon. We're gonna go in with our salad. All right, and then we close up shop. All right, now I know it looks messy, but the secret to any good sub is you gotta roll it up to get all those flavors in there. So I just got a couple pieces of wax paper. I'm just gonna roll it. Roll that boy up. Roll it on up. All right, so I'm showing you this side because it's the pretty side, but yeah, I definitely put a little too much lettuce in there. It's kind of going crazy, but we wrap it up. All those flavors kind of get together and talk so here we go. Oh, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is about to be some gas, I already know. All right, so now you see why I wanted you to wrap it. It's a big sub, but we can press everything together. It comes together beautifully, just like any sub place that you actually go to. So here we go, taste test time, scary music time. Here's my version of the TikTok grinder, come on. Mm. <laughs> hold up, oh, hold up, this is fire. Are you kidding me? Oh God. Oh, yeah, see, look at that, look at that. Hey, what did I say? I'm never gonna lose weight with you in this house. Hey, rate it, how many stars? Five, easy five, no question. That's the best sub I've ever had. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm not bullsh I'm not exaggerating. Best grinder sandwich I've ever had. That bacon's coming through. That cherry pepper relish is coming through. This is amazing. You want this bite? Look at this bite. Oh my God. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> She's shocked again. <laughs> she came back for seconds and still can't believe it. There's just more flavor. Look, I'm wearing you. Whoa, that's bubblegum trap for them. Hey. I get to have 
<laughs> That's true. Hey, listen, we're gonna call it short. Star scale, it's a five. Let's go. Listen, all I have to say at this point is shout out to TikTok for inspiring what's probably the best grinder you will ever taste in your entire life. I say that with confidence. It truly was full of flavor. The texture was perfect. Listen, I did that whole video without asking anybody to like, subscribe, or drop a comment below. So please, if you don't mind doing each of those things or at least one of them, I would really appreciate it. It helps more seasoning more than you know. My name is Farnham. Hey, this was another TikTok video. The grinder has been grinded out. It's a home run, seriously. I don't know what else to say other than we'll see you next time. Let's go.